Hi guys, hope everybody is doing well today. Just been to the Sunday car boot. I went to three of them. Um, I bought some general tat and then I bought some even more tat, um, like salad tape and all sorts of junk, what I don't need. Um, and what I come back with is this mostly is the tool related stuff. So we'll go through it and um, we'll have a little guess. So the first thing I bought was this little box and it said a raw plug. Not sure when it's from, but I quite like the graphics. So how much is that? The woman said 20p. So I thought, can't complain. I'll have a go at that. Um, I got this little Stanley 199. Looks to be in reasonable condition. Not an early one. The guy said 50p. So that'll go in Jim's parcel because Jim can polish those up and sell them when in the winter. As... Um, pencil handles or something he sells them as um i bought this kind of cool knife um it's it seems to have lost the mechanism what locks it i think or is yeah i think it's i think it's lost that locking mechanism oh no no it isn't it locks on that side isn't it um just says stainless steel on the blade um, looks to be a bit of hardwood and a bit of brass. Nothing overly special. Um, I paid £1.50 for the little uh, knife. Imagine if you were in need of one and you sharpen it up. Might be alright for £1.50. So, yeah, £1.50, brass and brass steel and wood. I'm not going to complain at £1.50. Um, the next thing I bought with these opera glasses, it's got a crack just here and it's got a crack uh, just there on the sort of faux ivory and um, they open nicely though sometimes they open like cockeyed but quite nice indeed um, and they work well as you can tell look at that beautiful so so um so I asked the woman how much she said 15 I said oh no I said they broke there they broke there she said said 10 in the end, I gave her seven, um, which I think is plenty enough money. But I thought, why not live the dream? So they were seven pounds. Um, I got this scraper. I've just wire wheeled it so I could have a quick look. We've got, what does it say there? Key, uh, re webbable hook, um, Scarton or something, London pattern number blah blah but it's a little scraper and um, looks to be quite you know wavy the scraper i just thought it was kind of cool um, and then i got this weight and um, this sort of like fishing hook weight i don't know paper weight whatever um the the thing for the two was 50p so i thought live the dream <laughs> i don't know why i bought these cardinal lee um duke of hazard sort of toy number one um and charger um general lee so i thought and um starsky and hutch ford um don't know what car it is um grand touring or something is it a grand touring or something for so so yeah so basically was it grand turismo i don't know anyway I thought they were cool, Grand Torino, yeah, Grand Torino, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, really, really cool, Start, so I got, bought them for me boy to have a play with. Um, Nash, 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 I saw that from about across the field, I thought of you. Poland, now I know Nash has got a couple of these with these cool screws, but I'm not sure what lengths they are. Um, Mark this one is an eight inch i'm assuming nash has got it the eight inch but not sure so he's got a couple of these so i'll probably just stick this in nash's drawer next time i send him a parcel we do a swap they'll go to nash but these are an eight inch and he's got quite a collection of these sort of vintage ones so 50p i thought they were cheap bargain um so the next thing i got was these which one shall we do the guess the price um i'll do the weights um so the next thing i got was this set of um wooden um chess pieces um chess pieces quite nice um quite nicely carved as well 
um, and quite a dense wood. Really, really nice. So I bought these because I've got a set. Me, son, me and my son play together. The set I've got is made out of like bone and every time he drops them, they break. So I think these will be a bit more forgiving. Having said that though, there is one what's broken. I did check they were all there, but the cross is broken on the king. But um, it was quite a nice set. I said, how much for those? He said 20. I went, I don't be thinking so. And I had a look in his cabinet and he had this little magnifying glass. Um, doesn't really magnify him particularly, maybe a three times, I don't know. Uh, like faux ivory. He tried to tell me it was ivory. I said, no, it's not. Um, but it's like faux ivory and it's cracked there on the split. So I, I said, I said eight quid. I said, I don't want to give any more than eight because it's broke. And he said, there might be some missing. He said, oh, no, no, there's no missing. He said, a tenner. I said, how about a tenner? He chucked this in. He wanted four. So that was eight and this was two. So ten pounds the two. Thought that was quite good. And my most expensive purchase of the day was certainly up there in the high-end stakes is this bell brass bell weight and then this set of four pound brass bell weights is it so we've got four pound we've got two pound we've got a pound and uh, what's this one half a pound uh 20 ounce eight ounce and then we've got four ounce and then we've got two ounce and i'm guessing this little one's an ounce if i had to guess feels heavier than an ounce but yeah so we've got quite a nice set there i think i'm going to give these a polish up and see what they look like so let's get on that now right guys so i'll just give these a bit of a polish there we go um just a quick run over and the nice brass weights. Nothing over the top job, just, just clean off most of the tarnish. Um, and I think they've come out quite nice. Um, so yeah, pretty pleased with those. So there's one, two, three, four, so there's eight of them. I decided to leave the tarnish on that one. I thought the tarnish looked quite nice. I didn't decide to polish it. So what do you think I paid for the eight brass bell weights? Um, it was off a dealer, so obviously I had to pay quite a quite a high price. Um, so that is the guess of the week. Put in the comments which item, if you would have bought any of this junk, which item's the best. I reckon Nash thinks that's the best. Uh, Nash will have to let me know if you've got an 8-inch one or not. Hopefully you haven't. You might have a 10 and a 12. You might have an 8 and a 10. But it doesn't matter anyway, I'll just sling it in the uh, footprint surplus drawer for Nash next time. Alright, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this. Take care, have a great day. Bye!